Hello, hello. Welcome back to episode five of the Hardstyle from Scratch series. You know, I am a big room producer from Heart, so I'm going to do some big room producer esque things, i.e., you know, the vocal and the build up. Somebody commented saying that's not a very hard style thing to do. You know, I'm kind of new to the traditional hard style, you know, uh, but obviously I'm going to do some little big room things, you know, because that's what I've basically grown up in this industry doing. Uh, but I think it sounds okay. It's a cool little big room hard style hybrid, I would say. Um, the, it's this project file as you see it actually will be released on my selfie page uh all this all the sounds everything if you want to take the project change the melody and release it you can that's completely up to you it's there to help you and assist you in your production maybe you hear the synths these big saw synths and you think Shh, i really need this in my track i don't know how to get those synths just go up to my selfie page grab this project file and um yeah take it apart mess around with it i'll try and organize it a bit um after today's episode where we put the ear candy the final mix down the final master uh, but it's going to be a really good tool for you to help kind of gauge this the structure of a hard style track or or the production of a typical edm um track because this this uh processing and stuff will be used for big room as well and um, you know we've got the side trans bass in there whatever genre you're making this is going to help you out so without further ado we're going to jump into the project right after I tell you about my brand new track, which drops in two days on Revealed. It's a brand new club track on Maddox's Lost DNA EP. It's going to be back on Revealed, so please go share the SHIT out of that track. And if you're a Patreon, there will be a sample pack around that track dropping at the end of the month. So, love to all my Patreon supporters, by the way. Respect to you guys still. Uh, supporting me let's jump into this this is what we have so far we're gonna go through this track with a fine tooth comb and really just clean the mix down completely and master it this is what I would probably do in my own track usually I like to have the master chain already on but I'll always do like a final mix down before I send it out to labels and stuff so where do we begin let's listen to the intro I think the intro is good as it is Already I hear a massive problem. This downlifter is crazy loud. So we're gonna turn this down. Very important when you're making a track to come back a week, two weeks later and uh, really give it another mix down because sounds that stick out now wouldn't have stuck out back then because your ears are so tired. <laughs> Right, so let, let's dive into this a bit because I'm not too happy with this. Doesn't sound very balanced. What I'm going to do is add an EQ on the low end of the sub from the sub kick. I feel like it can be subby, all right? Uh, is it fully mono? Yeah, we did well there. It's fully mono. Now let's try and get the mix right with the side bass as well. Little bit of a clash there. I, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Gold star if you can. We're just gonna... Mythical reality. Because we've already got a sub bass, I don't need the sub bass from this side bass, okay? However, 
taking all of the bass frequencies away from this sound is going to take away its fullness and its body and its energy, right? So we just need to find the, the perfect balance. The kick and bass kind of relationship's really good there. So as I said before, we are just taking away all the frequencies and just using this as a pure sub bass. We don't want to give too much of the characteristics of this sub because uh, we have the characteristics coming from the side. <laughs> this space a lot this one really has a nice kind of mid presence oh this is the acid base sick see how that kind of gels everything together and balances the mix as well let's try and get this one wrapped um this one just isn't really fitting too well I'm trying here is putting a gate on it so it fo follows the side bass a little bit more don't know how it's gonna sound disclaimer could sound horrible but we're gonna try it. I think the volumes weren't good now in if you're a more intermediate producer or if, if you've been producing for three four years um, you'll really notice the difference between what we started with and what we have now this just hits better you know there's more low frequencies um, you'll be able to tell in the waveform as well when it's bounced it's gonna look more chunky and it's just gonna have way more energy so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this <laughs> I love this switch by the way. What a sound. Beautiful. So then we're going into the breakdown. Enter. Enter
myself in a mythical the vocal already sounds too quiet to me there so what i'm going to do is just stick a pro a parametric eq2 and just boost the volume a little bit picture yourself in a mythical reality really imagine the, the different now. things you do and that describes your true self somebody who sees people through now i'm thinking we need a reverb here like a big endless smile or a delay or something like that. So let's try with the endless smile first and see if that provides us with a little bit more of a smooth transition. All your transitions should be smooth no matter where you are in the project. So what I'm gonna do here is just open up this endless smile. Describe your true self. Somebody who sees people through. That feels nice. Somebody who sees people through. This is your world, your mythical reality. I like that as well. So we're just going to keep the reverb um, to assist with the transition into the big sense. Also pretty nice. This is your world, your mythical reality. Love, love this. So let's, let's make sure these are mixed correctly. Uh, we don't want any of these sounds to stand out too much. Amazing. That That's just, I love this because it shows that you can take samples and really make something your own by just adding a few together and getting the levels right. Mythical reality. I feel like that mid bass layer is a little bit too loud now. Bit, we need some claps uh, we really need some tight claps so we're gonna find some now go to my something like this something really crispy just so we can increase the energy a bit uh, we don't want to just have this repeat again with no changes <laughs> First project to make my CPU die is a hardstyle project, of course. Good job I'm not a hardstyle producer, eh? So we're just gonna duplicate this. Well. And I like that. I like this clap in the breakdown. Because you can carry on into the build-up, and it, that allows it to be another tr smooth transition. Um, it helps with the smoothness because sometimes you can feel like you blend one track's break with another track's build-up, and they just don't sound like they fit together. Whereas this way, you can ma really make them fit together because you're carrying one element into the next um, part of the structure. 